do you know how to create this amazing effect on your photo? If you don't, stay tuned. I'll be right back. Hi y'all, bonjour, hola, my name is Trish. If you're new on this channel, welcome. Please take a minute, like, subscribe, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell for all future uploads. So without further ado, let's jump right into this tutorial. First of all, this is a great shot, but what if we can add an effect that will take it from just being great to a wow effect? So let me show you how to add a smoke effect to this image. The first thing that we want to do is to separate our subjects from the background. We are going to click on our background image. We want to make a duplicate. So we are going to press Command J to make a duplicate. And we're going to name this subject. And the bottom one, background. Now with the subject layer, we want to cut out the subject from the background. So with our quick select tool, we're going to click on select subject and Photoshop cuts out the subject. But when we zoom in, you notice that there are still some areas that we will have to add. So I'm just going to add this area and I'm going to zoom out. I'm going to zoom into her face and we see that there are still a few areas that we need to add. And I'm going to go to the groom and do the same thing. So the groom's face, we realize that his chin needs to be selected. Now the flower that he's holding, the bouquet, we need to include that in the selection. So we are just going to add that. And notice that to add an additional selection to whatever has been selected, you want to click on your add to selection. And if you want to take away, you click on subtract from selection. So this is good enough for what we want to do. I'm going to zoom out so we can see the entire thing. So now that we have everything selected, we are going to click on our layer max. So our layer max basically removes the background for us, but you can't see it because we have two of the same images. So if I turn off the background, you notice that the layer above has no background and that is exactly what we want. Now we can go ahead and add our smoke effect. So I've already pulled in two images that we are going to use. So I'm going to go here with my move tool. I'm going to drag this. So I've dragged this into our file. And what I want to do is that I'm going to put that in between our subject and the background. So we have the smoke from behind a subject. I'm going to rescale. So something like that. I'm going to do something like this. So it's as though we have the smoke coming from this side. So we're going to make a copy. So I'm going to click on my layer, Command J. So I'm going to make another duplicate, Command J. And I'm going to take that one and move it to the opposite side. And to flip it, we are going to make sure we have the layer selected. We go to edit, transform, and you want to flip horizontal. So it gives you the opposite. So we have smoke coming from both sides of our subject. And we want to have a third smoke almost directly behind the bride. So we're going to go for the third smoke or the second one and we're going to drop it here so you can see it I'm going to rescale 
you select your layer if your transform is not activated you want to make sure that auto select and show transform controls are all checked now if you have an older version you need to click on your layer go to file go to edit transform and then you can choose scale so we're going to just go ahead and scale just like that so we have this cool effect behind our bride and groom now you can choose to have a bit of the smoke effect in front of the subject as though there is somebody a little bit beyond the camera who has another smoke bomb lit we are going to go ahead from here to add some color i'm going to click on my adjustment levels and i'm going to choose solid color so what we are going to do is that we want to clip our solid color to just the smoke effect on the top layer so to do that you want to hold down your alt and we want to clip you notice that the mouse has been chained to almost like a down arrow so you want to make sure you click the line in between the two layers and it will clip it for you if you want it a little bit more lighter we can go to the opacity and we can reduce it so we have something like this and not too much now we're going to do the same thing for both ends we're going to use a hot pink so i'm going to click on the next smoke effect and i'm going to go to my adjustment and add a solid color we are going to change that color to this little not too much of a pink i'm gonna click ok hold down your alt clip in between and then we have something like this we can take it down so it's not too much and we're going to do the same thing with the other end so we are going to go ahead and add a solid color and we are going to change that to also the pinkish i'm gonna click ok and i'm going to hold on my alt and clip it now i want to add another smoke effect but this one will not have any color so we are going to go to the third one that we added i'm going to click on that layer and then press command j make a duplicate so with the duplicate we are going to click on the lower smoke and we are just going to move it so what i want to do is this smoke effect at the very end i want to move it a little bit this way i'm going to turn this back on so we have something like this and even for this side i'm going to turn off my solid color and i want to rotate this a little so i'm going to do something like this and then rescale it so we have it a little bit bigger i'm going to turn back on the color i'm going to go ahead and duplicate this layer so we can have a bit more of the smoke effect so command j and i'm going to go ahead and move that but i need to move this out of the way a little and i'm going to turn this back on now this other smoke beneath we want to add the same color effect so to do that we are just going to make a duplicate of the solid color we already have so command j and I'm going to move that in between the two. We are going to hold our, our Alt, clip it. So you basically have to do a lot of clipping when you make a copy of something you have already clipped because it basically unclips and you have to re-clip it back. What we want to do, I'm going to rescale this a little to set it over there. So we have something almost like this and over here i want to also make a duplicate of this white one command j and i'm going to take it on the other side i'm going to rotate like this so we have this effect and i'm going to use reduce the opacity so it's not too much 
So I'm gonna make a duplicate of the color, the solid color, so I can take it above and put it into this one as well. So Command J, we make a duplicate. I take that above and then Alt to clip. So we have something very fun, cool effect. So basically we are done with the smoke effect. Now, if the smoke effect is too much, we can reduce the opacity level so we can be able to see beyond and see the trees. The last thing that we are going to do is to add a color lookup to make our image come to life. So the last thing we want to do is to add the color lookup. So I'm going to click on my top layer and I'm going to go to my adjustment and I'm going to click on color lookup and then I'm going to go to my properties and then at 3D I'm going to change that to a fall color. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select that layer and put it in between my subject and everything else. So the color is affecting the background but not our subject. So I'm going to go ahead and add one more color look up. So we're going to add one more color look up. I'm going to go to my adjustment, color look up. And this time we want to change the color to two strip look up. So we have this cool effect. Now what I want to do is to pick my brush and I want to erase some areas of that color. So I'm going to increase my brush and I'm going to dab in some area so my subject stays in focus and is bright. And I'm going to touch up in some areas like the water, um, just a little dab here and there, depending on the look you want. I'm going to decrease my brush and I'm going to just reveal a little bit of the green in the ground, something like that. And we are done. But the last thing that I want to do is to bump up the richness of the different colors. So to do that, we want to create one file. So I'm going to press Shift Alt Command E. It's going to create one file for me. I'm going to go to Filter, Camera Raw, and I'm just going to play around with the diff different sliders so I can bump up my color. And then I'm going to click OK. So you can see that this was the before and this is the after. And it's a very cool and fun effect. Now, the other thing is, what if you wanted the original, original um, finish without the color lookup? We can do that too. So I'm going to turn the final of this and then the color lookup. So we have this. Now, I want to create one file. So I'm going to click on the top layer that is activated. So I'm going to hold down Shift, Alt, Command, E. It's going to create one file for me. Now, I'm just going to go to my filter. Instead of going to Camera Raw to add my options, I can just click Camera Raw here, and it will add all the different effects that I've already applied to the first one. So now you can see this is the before of the one we did. And now this is the original that we began with. And this is the raw one that has not been touched. So you see that we have this three plus the original. So if I click Alt and I hold it down, click on my background image. So you see this is the before. Now this is the after. Now if I turn this off, I have option two. If I turn this off, I have option three. So guys, this brings us to the end of this lesson. I really want to know which option you love the most. So tell me if you love this or you love the more muted um, earth tone version. 
So this brings us to the end of this lesson. I hope that this is something that you can use as you edit photos for people. This is just to help you to see the different options and different ways that you can recreate your version of the smoke bump effect on your photo. So please like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell for all future uploads. And as always, thanks for watching and I will see you on Friday. Take care. Bye.